Hi, Sam Burke, Corporate Chef for Meat and Livestock Australia. I'm here to show you creative techniques of cooking Australian red meat over fire. Today's dish, beef short ribs, low and slow in the American smoker. Australian beef short rib, located underneath the ribeye. So as the steak comes around, the bones come around, and this is the gelatinous cut at the bottom. It has to be treated with respect, cooked slowly, and you'll get a wonderful result. So the flavor is really in the low and slow of this dish. All I'm gonna do is put salt and pepper on it. To accompany it, we've done a Hasselback pumpkin too, with chives, garlic, rosemary, and parsley, along with a bit of olive oil. So for the first step, we prepare our pellets. What I've just got here is some standard wood pellets and some water for my smoker. So for the wood pellets, over here to the smoker. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up the smoker. In go the wood pellets, then the water, then the ribs. We close the cabinet, crank it up to as hot as it can go to get that smokiness all through the meat. The smoking essentially starts in the first half an hour. So to get a good smoke ring, you need to get a high temperature when you get your short ribs in. We've got a good amount of fat on this short rib, so we're just gonna add salt, pepper, and let the smoker do its work. Time to get this into the smoker. We've got eight hours to cook this bad boy. Red meat always goes well with vegetables. Let's do the pumpkin. What we're gonna do is put small incisions into the pumpkin. What this will do is let the flavors of the garlic, the rosemary, the chives, the parsley, penetrate into the pumpkin. And it's also gonna give a wonderful presentation when it roasts. Let's get this into the oven. So we wanna get our temperature to about 140 degrees for eight hours. And upon every hour, what we do is we spray it with a spritz. What's a spritz? It's got apple cider vinegar and water. What does this do? It keeps the meat nice and moist during the cooking process and accelerates the bark at the end. So the bark is the crust that you get on the top of the short rib that you slice through and gives that nice crust for your short beef rib. We've taken this out. It's been in for eight hours at about 130 to 140 degrees. We've spritzed it every hour and now we've got a nice, wonderful result. Let's wrap this up and rest it for about 20 minutes before we carve it. We're gonna serve that with that wonderful Hasselback pumpkin straight out of the wood-fired oven. Wow. You'd be happy with that. Join me next time in my backyard, cooking Australian red meat over fire.